Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on our channel Famous Celebrity News. Today, we'll be presenting a list of famous celebrities who have passed away with announcements of their passing made in the last 24 hours. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Number 5. Larry Collins, a true icon of the West Coast country music scene has passed away at the age of 79, leaving behind a rich legacy in the world of rockabilly and country music. His journey began in Oklahoma and took him to Los Angeles, where he and his older sister Lori Collins formed the dynamic duo, The Collins Kids. Their talent shone brightly on the TV show Town Hall Party, where Larry's exceptional guitar skills, honed under the guidance of Joe Mouse, dazzled audiences. Larry, with his double-necked electric guitar, became known for his vibrant performances and remarkable guitar licks. The Collins Kids' unique blend of rockabilly and hillbilly styles captured the hearts of many, earning them spots alongside legends like Johnny Cash, Patsy Cline, and Marty Robbins. Their music, especially hits like Beetle Bug Bop and Hoi Hoi, are celebrated as rockabilly classics. Beyond his performances, Larry's talents extended to songwriting, where he pinned hits like Delta Dawn, you're the reason God made Oklahoma. Songs that not only topped charts but also became integral parts of the country music canon. His contributions influenced a generation of musicians and reshaped the landscape of country music. His death is not just the loss of a great musician, but also the end of an era that he so brilliantly defined with his sister. His musical journey from a rockabilly sensation to a respected songwriter is a testament to his versatility and enduring impact on the music industry. His legacy will continue to resonate through the chords of country music and in the hearts of those who admired him. Tribute to Larry Collins Number 4. Georgina Hale, a celebrated British character actress renowned for her roles in television and the films of Ken Russell, has passed away at the age of 80. Her career, marked by versatility and a unique charm, leaves a lasting impact on the world of performing arts. Born in Ilford, Essex, Hale's journey into acting was not straightforward. Growing up in a pub-owning family, she overcame early educational challenges and a shy disposition. Her passion for acting ignited after witnessing a production of West Side Story, leading her to train at RADA and subsequently joined the Royal Shakespeare Company. Her talent shone brightly in Ken Russell's films. Her portrayal of Alma Mailer in the biopic, Mir, earned her critical acclaim and an award for the most promising newcomer. Her roles in The Devils and The Boyfriend further cemented her status as a remarkable talent in the film industry. Beyond Russell's works, she graced various television productions, adding depth and allure to each character she embodied. Her career spanned several decades, during which she transitioned effortlessly between film, television, and stage. Her performance in Chekhov's The Seagull, Neil Simon's Last of the Red Hot Lovers, and Nell Dunn's steaming demonstrated her range and depth as an actor. Despite her success, Hale faced the age-related challenges common in the acting profession, yet she persisted with grace and resilience. Off-screen, Hale's life was as vibrant and compelling as her on-screen personas. Her personal journey, marked by challenges and triumphs, mirrored the complex characters she played. Her ability to bring authenticity to her roles, whether in drama, comedy, or soap operas, made her a revered figure in the acting community. Georgina Hale's legacy is one of remarkable talent, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to her craft. Her contributions to theater and film have left a lasting mark, inspiring future generations of actresses. Tribute to Georgina Hale. Number 3. Emily Janovs, the mother of former First Lady Melania Trump, passed away after a long health battle at 78. Her death marks the loss of a woman who was not only a devoted mother but also a figure of grace and warmth. Born and raised in Slovenia, her journey eventually led her to the United States, where she played an integral role in her daughter life, especially during her time as First Lady. Emily Janovs and her husband Victor spent significant time in the White House, living in the upper floors and maintaining a close relationship with their family. Her presence in the White House was not just as a family member but also as a symbol of the American dream, embodying the possibilities that come with a life in the United States. Her grace and warmth were apparent to those who knew her, and her commitment to her family was unwavering. In her tribute, 
Melania Trump described her mother as a strong woman who carried herself with grace, warmth, and dignity. This characterization highlights the profound influence Amalia had on her family, providing them with love, support, and guidance. Her devotion to her husband, daughters, grandson, and son-in-law was a testament to her loving nature and the strength of her character. Her legacy is one of familial devotion, resilience, and the quiet strength that often underpins the lives of those closest to figures in the public eye. Her life story, marked by a journey from Slovenia to the United States and her role as a supportive mother and grandmother, will continue to inspire and be remembered by her family and those who knew her. Tribute to Amelie Janovs. Number 2. Terry Ballantyne Bisson, an esteemed American author renowned for his contributions to the science fiction and fantasy genres has left us at the age of 81. His imaginative storytelling and unique voice and short stories have left a great mark on readers in the literary world. Born in Madisonville, Kentucky, and raised in Owensboro, Bisson's journey into the world of literature was marked by his early engagement in the student peace movement. His participation in a group that met with Major Bundy during the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1961 signified the beginning of a lifelong commitment to social and political causes, a theme often reflected in his work. His literary career blossomed with a distinctive style that blended speculative fiction with poignant social commentary. His most celebrated short story, Bears Discover Fire, which won both the Hugo and Nebula Awards, is a testament to his skill in weaving the fantastical with the profound. Exploring themes of nature, humanity, and the unexpected, beyond his acclaimed short stories, Bond's novels like World Maker and Talking Man showcased his versatility and imagination, earning him a devoted following. His work in comic books, including adaptations of Roger Zelazny's Amber series, further exhibited his ability to traverse different mediums with ease. His collaborative spirit was evident in his completion of St. Leibovitz in The Wild Horsewoman, a task undertaken after the passing of Walter M. Miller Jr. This endeavor was a significant contribution to preserving Miller's legacy, demonstrating Bisson's respect and dedication to his fellow writers. A regular participant in SF and SF programs, Bisson's presence was a beacon for aspiring writers and enthusiasts in San Francisco. His work not only entertained but also provoked thought and inspired change, resonating with his early activism. Terry Ballantyne Bisson's passing is a profound loss to the literary community. His legacy of imaginative storytelling coupled with a deep commitment to social issues will continue to inspire and captivate readers for generations to come. Tribute to Terry Ballantyne Bisson Number 1. Reggie Wells, a revered makeup artist from Baltimore, passed away at the age of 76 after a long illness. Renowned for his three-decade-long tenure as Oprah Winfrey's personal makeup artist, Wells's mastery of his craft transcended celebrity circles, touching lives from senior communities to international stages. Born in Baltimore County, Wells began his artistic journey at Baltimore City College. His career took a significant turn in New York City, where his talent at makeup counters caught the eye of a fashion editor. This opportunity led to his work with high-profile magazines like Glamour, Life, and Harper's Bazaar, and notably over 100 covers for Essence magazine. His exceptional skills in makeup artistry brought him into the spotlight with Oprah Winfrey and other major black female entertainers. His pioneering techniques in creating makeup for black women at a time when major cosmetic companies did not cater to them made him a trailblazer in the industry. In 1995, his excellence was recognized with a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Makeup, with four additional nominations. Beyond his professional achievements, Wells's personality was magnetic, described by his niece Tasha Jackson as a captivating storyteller who commanded rooms with his presence. Wells was not just an artist but a source of inspiration and joy. His contribution to the world of beauty and entertainment was immense. He was an advocate for black beauty, a mentor, and a proud representative of Baltimore's talent. His return to Baltimore in later years, offering makeovers to senior black women, exemplified his dedication to elevating black beauty and his generosity of spirit. Reggie Wells' legacy is one of innovation, excellence, and resilience. He brought grace, dignity, and beauty to the world, leaving a memorable mark on the industry and those who knew him. Tribute to Reggie Wells.